Right everyone, Ram Collector here. Alright, I'm going to do a dagger build today. So, this will be the blade. This is from a... This is the tip of a... A sabre or a cavalry sword. You have to excuse the kids, they're playing on a trampoline outside. So, that'll be the blade, six inch blade. I'll cut the tang from that. And it should have... If it all works well, it'll have a brass guard, hidden tang, but a decent sized tang and a screwed on brass pommel if I've got enough brass so there's the brass, or a couple of bits of brass but the handle is going to be stacked leather and kydex I was going to do it just leather but I'm pretty sure I haven't got enough so I'm going to do a couple of layers of leather a couple of layers of kydex and I've got some red and black kydex so we can do a couple of um, different colours so the first thing I'll do is cut the tang in and then I'll start you know, getting on which will I'll probably be the guard after that but yeah I've got to cut the tang so you can see it there where it'll be Right, I can actually talk on camera now. So, I've cut all these out with the little punch that I made. And I'm going to start cutting them so they go on, and I'll have to sort them out afterwards. To make sure these holes are right, I'm going to make sure one's right. Leave one out, and then I can mark the hole, turn it round, just to make sure. So, there's where you want your hole. And then I'm just punching it out, so it'll be... One at the top, sorry, one at the bottom, one at the top, and then just punch out the little middle bit. And then they're nice and tight, but they do fit on. Just got to get over that little bit there. And that should make quite a nice handle. And it'll be, I'm not sure of the you know how many it'll be then red how many it'll be then black I'll work it out when I know how many I need and then we can start working on the pommel which will be a brass disc and I'll thread it so I can just tighten this up really nicely
I learnt two lessons doing this build and the first one was never buy cheap um, tap and die sets tap and die set that you just saw then are so crap that I think they would only cut aluminium it's a bit of a nightmare really so because of that I've had to change what I was doing I've managed to thread the part on the the blade the tang but the nut I don't have the same size bit so I've had to change it slightly but it still works The other lesson I learnt was when you're grinding a pommel with leather behind it be very careful because what I've accidentally done is burnt the leather that's just underneath the pommel. Doesn't matter, it's not really going to affect anything, it's just it means that one doesn't look quite as good anymore. But yeah, you live and learn and that's the whole point of doing these builds is, you know, you can learn things from it. Coming up to the end of the build now, so I'm just going to lacquer the handle and it's pretty much done. I just need to polish up the guard and make a sheath. And I did make a sheath for this and I made it with some of that scrap sofa leather that I had. It looks pretty good. If you want to see how I make these sheaves, I didn't do it for this video, but if you watch my previous video, you'll see me making a sheath there. So the rest of the video will be some high quality video of the knife, don't forget to check that out. Right, so here's the dagger and the sheath. This is that sofa leather, and again, it came out really nice. It comes out, if you if you put a bit of um, effort into that stuff, it can come out pretty good. I don't think this would last as long as proper um, vegetable tan leather that's three mil thick, but it does an adequate sheath and it looks nice show you that close up yeah I'm very surprised really how good that's come out considering what leather that is that is just um, like one millimeter sofa leather that was blue that's been glued together two pieces with a piece of um, denim in it so there's essentially like nine layers there or more no twelve layers there altogether because each layer would be free yeah, but yeah, I think that's come out really nice, considering. And as with most of my builds, most of the stuff I do is sort of scrap for materials anyway. So, for it to look reasonably good is always a bonus. You'll have to excuse my fingers, I've got the um, the bloody dye from the sheath on my fingers again. Now I'll make your hands look grubby. Um, so yeah, now for the knife. So, it's actually not perfectly straight but I sort of knew that would be the case because this was slightly curved anyway um, yeah I am very happy with the looks of it it's got a sort of fair barn sight sort of feel to it with the tapered handle the pommel nut worked out alright in the end it wasn't what I was planning but holds on I had to put a countersink in this and then make the nut like a cone shape so it slotted in but from the side you can't see it. Accidentally burnt the lever under there. You know, as I say, you live and learn. And I don't know why that's not quite on straight. But yeah, again, doesn't really matter. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. The handle has come out a lot nicer than I thought. Guard still needs a little bit of polishing. Yeah, overall though, I am very happy with that, considering... That is essentially all scrap, so scrap blade, 
scrap piece of brass, bits of scrap leather that you chuck away, same with the kydex, all bits that are too small to use for anything. And I now have quite a nice sort of fighting dagger, double edged, with a very nice sheath I think. So that is essentially finished. I think I will put a maker's mark on the sheath and the knife. But other than that, maybe polish up the blade a little bit more. That is it done really. That's um, That was that day's work. But I think that's come out nice. Six and a half inch blade I think it is. So again a decent sized blade. You can see the handle fills my hand quite well as well. I will definitely do more leather stacked handles. In fact, I'm going to have a go at making a inexpensive K-bar eventually from one of those knife blanks that I've got or that I get. So there you go. There's my homemade dagger. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. See you later.